2006, I learned gilding. I was wishing for a more dynamic surface and always looking for pigments that had a dynamic quality. A bit of shimmer here and there only deepened my urges. Gilding offered me a substrate and a surface that was dynamic beyond my wildest dreams. The early work comprised of gilding across the whole surface. Paint was added on top of this rich surface. In 2015, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center commissioned me to produce a set of paintings for their chemotherapy infusion rooms at 64th Street in Manhattan. Much of the work from this time, including this commission, is inspired by poetry. Some of it is very abstract and some of it references the natural world. Clouds, the sky, water patterns, the energy of the wind and sky. In 2014, I was invited to an artist residency in Hasla, South Korea. I created a 48-inch diameter gilded sun painting, honoring the ancient spring site that pilgrims visited during the vernal equinox. The work is installed at the Hasla World Art Museum. The Reeves Reed Arboretum of Summit, New Jersey featured a large solo exhibition of my work in 2019. For the first time, I exhibited watercolors. I've been doing watercolors for years. They are created on site using a draw drawing process with watercolor pencils. When I am back in the studio, I continue to work on the images, transforming them through various processes. I didn't really take these works seriously. For a long time, I didn't have a way to think about them. But in this exhibition, I realized that they form one of the cores of my work because I'm looking at the natural world and creating work outside, literally within the natural world. These watercolors offer me a way into the kind of visual language I'm most interested in. As a young girl, I often wanted to tell people what I experienced when I was out in the woods. Words didn't seem to work very well. The language of visual form is a perfect vehicle to say these kinds of things. <laughs>